Shalom. Call Halayim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Raka Kordash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth, peace, and blessings to the hopefully elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall want. This Christianity doctrine is full of deception. And the people who subscribe to this Christianity doctrine are being deceived. To be deceived is to believe a lie is the truth. And one of the lies or one of the deceptive tricks of Christianity and you people who follow Christianity, you are being deceived. All right. Or you are believing the lie that our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, only is spoken of in the New Testament, which is a lie. This is Hebrews 10 and verse 7. And it reads, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. All right. So our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is written in the volume of the book. And when you go into the word volume, it means uh, the writings of the book. So our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is the word of the Most High, which means he comes in the volume of the book. It is written of him. He, he is literally the words of the King James Version. Hebrews 10 and 7 says to do thy will, O power. So that's the whole mission or that was the whole mission of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. To come to the earth in a physical form, all right, and to do the will of his father. And not just to do the will, but to complete the will of his father. This is the book of Luke, chapter 24, and verse 44. And this is the instance where our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, or one of the instances where Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, appeared unto the disciples, all right, after he was. Uh, or after he gave himself up to bear the cross. This is Luke 24. And I'm going to start at 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. All right. This is our Lord and our Savior telling the disciples that he is written in the volume of the book because he is speaking about all the things that occurred to him was written before time, all right, of him, all right, so let's read it again, Luke 24 and 44, and he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which are written in the law of Moses, all right, let's, it's uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 15, all right, which our Lord and our Savior spoke of the law of Moses, all right, which was written of our Lord and our Savior, all right? So let's get one account. This is Deuteronomy 18 and 15, one account of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, spoken of in the law of Moses. This is Deuteronomy 18 and 15, the Lord thy power will rise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, wasn't or isn't our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right? Uh, or didn't the scripture say he, sp he sprang out of the tribe of Judah, all right? So he is what? A prophet from, from the midst of thee, in the middle of thee, of thy brethren, all right? Like unto me, all right? Yahweh Shah told, told uh, the disciples that um, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father, all right? That's why the scripture said, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. All right, our Lord um, and Savior, Yahweh Shah, all things was, 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 was given unto him. All power was given unto him from his father, from the Most High. All right, so let's read it again. Deuteronomy 18 and 15. The Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, thy power will rise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. All right, let's jump back to Luke 24, all right, and 44, which are written in the law of Moses. And we just got that, all right? For law, I come in the volume of the book. It is written 
of me to do thy will, O power. And that was the will of the Most High that we just read. All right. And Deuteronomy 18 and 15. It, uh, continuing on in uh, Luke 24 and 44 and in the prophets. All right. So let's get an account in the prophets. While our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah was spoken of. This is Isaiah 11 and verse 1. And it reads, And there shall come forth out of the rod of the stem of Jesse. All right. Out, out of the stock of Jesse. All right. Who is Jesse? Jesse is the, the father of our King David. All right. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. All right. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And who's that branch? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right. Which is uh, um, coming from uh, um, the lineage. All right. Of our, our King David. All right. Let's go into that word. Um, uh, branch. This is the word branch. And mind you, these are, uh, 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 it, it's in cap. All right. This is the pronunciation in the Strong's H, the word branch. Strong's H, 5342. Nate Sayer. Nate Sayer. Nate said, all right, it says sprout shot branch, all right, so which means a what, a descendant, okay, and this is our Lord and our Savior, spoken of, okay, in Isaiah 11 and 1, which is who, a prophet, okay, so let's jump back. To Luke 24 and 44. And it reads, and in the Psalms. Okay, so let's get an account of our Lord and Savior in the book of Psalms. This is this is one of the accounts of our Lord and our Savior in the book of Psalms. This is Psalms 22. I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at, start at 14. I am poured out like water. And mind you, this is speaking of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. For lo, I come, in a, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. All of this is the will of the Most High. All right? And, and, and our Lord and our Savior is spoken of, which are the words. All right? The volume of the book. Psalms 22 and 14. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. And this is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, when he was uh, uh, bearing the cross, man, for our salvation. All right. Verse 15, my strength is dried up like a postured and my tongue cleaved to my jaws and thou have brought me into the dust of death. Yeah, he was about to give up the ghost. All right. Verse 16, for dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. All right. So this never happened. All right. To King David. If one would say, well, these these are the songs of King David. No, this is uh, 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 David prophesying about our Lord and our Savior. All right. For Lord, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. Let's read that again. Psalms 22 and 16. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. All right. So matter of fact, let's keep reading. Verse 17. I may tell my bones. They look and stare at me. Verse 18. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. All right. And that's spoken of in the gospels, man. All right. Um. Matthew 27, all right? I don't know exactly what, what, what verse right now, but the book of Matthew uh, 27, man, and, and, and um, it's, in, it's, it's in the other gospels, man, the same account, all right? Psalms 22 and 18, they part my garment among them and cast lots um, upon my vesture, 
All right. But, okay. So, look. Our Lord and our Savior, all right, comes in the volume of the book, man. All right. So, let's jump back to uh, Luke 24 and 44 again. All right. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. All right. All things concerning our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. This is what our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, is telling the disciples, which were written in the law of Moses, the volume of the book, and in the prophets, the volume of the book, and in the Psalms, the volume of the book concerning me, concerning our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. Verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that, that they might understand the scriptures. And that's right. All right. So the water Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right, that he's uh, uh, give us the understanding, all right, which is that light shining in us that we can well understand these scriptures, man. All right. Let's read just a little bit more. Verse 46. And he said unto them, thus it is written, and thus it behooved the Mashiach to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. All right. So, for lo, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes in the volume of the book. It is written of him. All right. So, this is Hebrews 10 and 7 again. Then said I, all right, lo, I come in the volume of the book. All right, once again, volume, all right, means what? The writings, all right, the writings of the book. And what's that book? The King James Version. It is written of me. It is written of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, to do thy will, O power. All right. So it was written throughout the King James Version, all right, about the coming of a Savior. To do what? To do the will of his Father, do the will of the Most High, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. All right. And not just to do the will. Once again, uh, I must add, but to complete the task, complete the job. All right. And with that, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying. Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and know that our Lord and our Savior comes in the volume of the book. It is written of him. All right. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall awarm.